This is the easiest dish to serve at your upcoming barbecue or picnic that it will please everyone. Meat eaters, vegans, vegetarians, everyone is going to enjoy this dish. And you make it with hearts of palm, which is really easy to find. Almost every grocery store has this can. Now you can make it in one pot, a crock pot, a Dutch oven, and almost all of the time is just it simmering. The prep is only about 10 minutes, so let me show you how to make it. But first, for this sandwich, I topped it with coleslaw. So let me show you this coleslaw, it's really easy. Now I'm gonna make the dressing, you can adjust it how you like, but really it's just gonna be about a half of a cup of vegan mayo, two tablespoons of agave, or just your favorite sweetener, one tablespoon of white vinegar. I'm gonna be using a rice vinegar here. It actually makes it a little sweeter. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, a big pinch of salt, and a bunch of cracks of ground black pepper. I kind of like to look at the dressing and just make sure that there's enough black pepper in there that it sprinkles throughout. It should be fairly peppery in my opinion. That's it. I'm going to cheat here. I just use the, it's a 16 ounce bag of coleslaw mix, toss that in the bowl, throw on the dressing and mix it up. We just need to throw this in the fridge and let it sit for, you know, until you're ready to use it. I mean, at least a few hours. Now back to the hearts of palm. So I'm gonna be using four cans of hearts of palm, which will make about eight servings, about eight sandwiches. Now, if people are gonna be using this as like a dip or cracker topping, you know, uh, you're gonna go stretch a little bit farther. But we're just gonna take those hearts of palm, drain them, rinse them. And then what I'm gonna be doing, you can cut them if you would like, but I mean, hearts of palm are, are fairly stringy on their own, kind of like string cheese. Uh, so I'm just gonna mash them down and kind of just start stringing them apart back into the strainer. There's a decent amount of liquid in the hearts of palm that I I want to remove. Now, once these are all mashed and kind of strung up, I just have them like over top of another bowl just to kind of collect the water. And then we're gonna season them up and cover them with some salt. That's gonna help draw out some of the moisture while also helping the seasoning and the flavor kind of embed itself into the hearts of palm. So the seasoning is just covering these with garlic powder, black pepper, salt, and a huge amount of smoked paprika. That is gonna be one of the main flavors of this. And then once it's all mixed up, I'm gonna add in just another smaller pinch of salt and kind of mix that in. All in all, it's probably a tablespoon in total. That's all the salt we're going to be adding to this. So I'm going to set this aside while we prep the rest of our veggies. Uh, realistically, this only needs about 15 minutes to rest and drain off some of the water. But what would be even better is if you tossed it in the fridge overnight, which is plenty of time for today's sponsor. Raw Rev is a protein bar that doesn't taste like a protein bar. Now, I know a lot of you have noticed how much weight I've lost. And now that I'm paying more attention to my health, I've been looking for a good quality snack. Something that will help fill me up, taste good, and just not be totally junk. Raw Rev bars are 100% vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, no preservatives, four grams of sugar or less, and 10 to 12 grams of plant-based protein. And like I said, they taste great. I got the eight bar sample pack a few weeks ago and I fell in love, so I ordered a lot more, like a lot more. I got the chocolate chip cookie dough, birthday cake, crunchy peanut butter and sea salt, mixed nuts and chocolate chip, peanut butter dark chocolate and sea salt, double chocolate brownie batter, and creamy peanut butter and sea salt, which this is one of my favorites. I love peanut butter. I mean, it's really good. It's so good, you wouldn't know that it's good for you. Mm. I love these things. So gang, head over to rawrev.com slash sauce-20. Use code sauce-20 and you're gonna save 20% off of your entire order. Raw Rev, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for making some incredible protein bars. Mm. So the veggies I'm gonna be using, I'm pretty much just gonna be using a whole sweet onion. I'm gonna cut everything into long strips. That's the consistency here, no chunks of anything. I'm also gonna be using a whole green pepper and then I happen to have about a half of a red pepper in the fridge. Now I'm just gonna to toss a Dutch oven on the stove over like a medium low heat, throw in some olive oil, maybe a tablespoon, toss in the onions and let those cook until they're soft. Once they're soft, then I'm gonna to toss in the green and red pepper, let those cooked down and then I had it's probably about three cloves of garlic equivalent. It seems like every garlic that I buy from the grocery store happens to have these tiny little useless cloves. I, I'm really getting an irritated by it. I don't, I don't know what to do. But I'm gonna mince these up, toss them in once everything's soft, and allow that to cook down for just a few minutes. So the Hearts of Palm has had plenty of time to rest. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good press like you would the subscribe button. Now I'm gonna add maybe a teaspoon or two of vegan butter to the Dutch oven and then add in our Hearts of Palm and then kind of stir that up. Now, I'm just going to allow this to kind of cook down for just a few minutes, kind of steaming off any excess liquid that's still remaining in those hearts of palm. Now, for the sauce, I'm going to be using a combination of ketchup and barbecue sauce. It's, it's just what I do. You, you could use what you like. For me, it ends up being about a half of a cup of ketchup with about a half of a cup of barbecue sauce.
sauce and maybe about a quarter cup of water. I, I think I ended up adding a little bit more water to get the consistency right. So now we're just gonna toss the lid on, partially covered, and just allow that to simmer. It doesn't need to simmer for any longer than like 10 minutes or so, but as long as it's on a very low heat, it can remain here for, uh, for most of the day, just continually stirring. So I'm gonna toast up some buns because if I didn't, you all would be pretty mad at me. And then we're just gonna start making the sandwich. And you can see how well this kind of comes together. It is a really nice consistency. I absolutely just love the texture of this. This was such a cool test. So you don't have to do this. I just think it tastes good. Uh, I'm gonna top this off with some coleslaw. And I mean, look at this sandwich. So now let's see what Monica has to say. Cheers. Mmm. This is good. I need another bite. Yeah, really good, right? Mm -hmm. So what is this? That's hearts of palm. Oh, I love hearts of palm. That's why I yeah. like it so much. Really good. But it's not even like, there's no heart of palm taste. Oh no, that's why I was like, what is this? Mm. Mm. No, this is awesome. Um, yeah, this is really good. Almost like a pulled pork sandwich. A good, easy veggie dish to bring to a barbecue that could be done in like a crock pot uh -huh. or a pan and it could just sit there on low all day long. Or you could put it on a cracker, you could put it on a chip, you could be on a sandwich. Yeah, it has a really nice taste, mm. just really subtle, almost like that pulled pork mm -hmm. taste. Um, somewhat reminds me of jackfruit too, mm -hmm. you know? And then I love like the, the whole shebang. That yeah. Coleslaw, the flavor, the bread with it, um, the sauces, everything. Yeah. Really good. Mm. It's definitely like a soft sandwich, mm -hmm. which is usually not my jam, but I like this. I'm gonna give this a 10. Like, I yeah. feel like this is like- oh, It's delicious. Yeah, the easiest thing to bring to a barbecue or just make it a barbecue or- I'm gonna give it a seven only oh. because of the softness. Mm. I have a hard time with that. Okay. <laughs> is that okay? Maybe I'll say eight. Seven was good. Yeah. Nice to keep it at seven. Okay. It's a 10 for me. <laughs> it's delicious, it really is. Like that's a seriously good barbecue sandwich. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Well, there we go. That's dinner. That's dinner.